guys welcome back to my channel it's monday we recorded the podcast today brooke and i went to spotify offices in new york city which was in new york city that's where i live which was super cool and now i have the evening to myself i have a lot of work that i want to get done right now responding to emails etc but then i really want to have a self-care evening and i thought i would take you guys along and vlog the experience Usually on days like today, I would get my workout done in the morning so that I can just shower and be done for the day. However, I had a really fun weekend, lots of late nights, and I told myself I would sleep in this morning and then just go to the meeting, which is what I did and I'm really happy about it. I think I needed that sleep. Um, so, but I've been really on my cardio journey and wanting to do more 12 through 30. I actually do 8 through 30, no shame in that. I'm working my way up to that 12. But I've been really comfortable in doing 8330. I could probably bump it a little bit. But if you guys don't know what that is, I do an incline of 8, speed of 3 on the treadmill for 30 minutes. Actually, the last couple times I've been doing 40 minutes and listening to a podcast, watching a YouTube video. It really goes by so fast. And it's just been a really nice balance in my other workouts. So I want to do like a late night, not late night, like an evening equinox moment, go to the gym make myself a yummy, healthy dinner, and just enjoy a night with myself because I have visitors this weekend and lots of birthdays, so I was just very overstimulated with lots of people, um, which was so much fun. I'm about to be with a lot of people this weekend. I'm going to Stagecoach Music Festival. It's country music. And then I'm coming home for a day, going to Miami um, with Revlon, which I'm super excited about. Uh, and then... Greenville for my brother's college graduation like all next week, so I'm gonna enjoy these next few days. I'm gonna enjoy my self-care evening And I thought I would take you guys along so I Came home washed my face as you guys saw put on my workout outfit So I just remember to go but I have some things I want to get done before the like technical work day ends um, and then I'll go from there, but I'm gonna play some Probably Deep Focus on Spotify has been my recent favorite playlist to play. Um, I like something without words, especially if I'm doing something with emails, but yeah, I'm in a very relaxed mood. I've got my candle lit and the vibes are high. Time for a snack. You guys know my go-to is this Abraham's red pepper hummus. And then I'm gonna cut up some cucumber. And it's the perfect mid-afternoon or honestly evening snack now ta-da <laughs> ta -da. okay got a ton of work done and now we are finally headed to the gym i do go to equinox and i get questions if it is worth it i think if you like a high-end luxury gym equinox is definitely for you and if you feel like you will truly use the membership i definitely feel like i do there are some weeks that i go more than others because I might be going to like New York Pilates or something like that but the workout classes that they have there are high quality workout classes like I usually would go this morning but like I said I slept in I would go to the Bala Bangle Bar class or whatever it's so good and they have so many other classes like uh, cardio sculpt they have like dance classes they have classes targeted towards like abs or stuff like that and I just love all of their workout machines. I love the treadmills. They're super nice. The bathrooms, the locker room, the steam room. I think I'm going to go in the steam room tonight because I'm getting a spray tan in two days for Stagecoach. And I was trying not to, but I just needed self-tan this past weekend. I love Tan Lux Express Mousse. That's what I used. But it, like, is staying because it's so good. And I'm like, I need to, like, go in the steam room and, like, get sweaty so it starts to come off a little bit. That's always my hack. Um, so, yeah. Workout outfit all from Lululemon and jacket is a Neen Bang, socks are Bandier and then um, my shoes are New Balances. They're really great for, I either wear these or my Hoka's when I do this workout and then I'm going to get in the steam room but I can't vlog or film or take photos in the bathrooms. Um, they have signs everywhere like no selfies, no nothing because people, you know, it's like a locker and people are get naked and stuff and some people go nude in the steam room so there will not be footage of that but you guys can just believe me in that I'm going to be doing that. Oh I need to pack a change of clothes for that then. And then we're gonna go to the grocery store and get us a yummy 
just some yummy ingredients to make a yummy, healthy meal tonight. At least that's the goal. <laughs> In the steam room, she like walked in and I was like, oh hey. So but it feels rude to talk in there because other people are trying to relax. But I shower, change my clothes, go get some groceries. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna make. So it's gonna be one of those, whatever looks good to me when I walk into the grocery store. But I feel so refreshed and they have all Kiehl's products there. So I like put lotion all over my body and um, a little facial moisturizer. Guys, Whole Foods is like out of everything I need right now. Like all the vegetables are gone. They have no broccoli. I didn't realize it was nine o'clock already. I'm like looking for ground chicken or ground turkey. And I can't find it. Guys, they literally don't have anything I need. And I talked to my mom on the phone. I was like, oh, I'm going to Whole Foods to get stuff. And she was like, it's already nine o'clock. Like that's gonna take so long. So. I'm literally leaving empty-handed. I'm just gonna order something because I don't wanna be up till 11 o'clock cooking food. So I went all the way <laughs> to Whole Foods. These kids are- Oh, I'm listening to my podcast. I went all the way to Whole Foods and they literally had nothing. Like they had no vegetables except for lettuce and I had my mindset that I wanted broccoli, rice, and ground chicken with black beans. They had the black beans, obviously, but that's literally, it was just weird. It was empty, it was a ghost town in there. They were about to close. And I was just so excited. It was gonna be part of my self-care evening to um, cook. But also self-care is realizing that it's 9 p.m. And I'm gonna, my mom was like worried. She's like, you're gonna cook now? And I was like, actually, I really didn't look at the time. I, so I ended up doing 40 minutes on the treadmill, which was so lovely. Got in the steam room, ran into my friend was in there and then I showered and like did lotion everything so I was just taking my sweet time and now I'm like so hungry for dinner and it's nine o'clock which is I don't like to eat this late but I need fuel so I left Whole Foods and I ordered myself Thai food. Self-care is Thai food. I love Thai food so much. I got like rice, chicken, and broccoli so kind of similar to what I was going to make just no black beans. Um, I ended up showering it. I always shower at Equinox, but sometimes, I'm, sometimes I'll wait to wash my hair until I get back so I can use my shampoo. But they have Kiehl's products, which is nice. I just didn't have my leave-in conditioner, so that's why I was just putting that on. We got to set the vibes in the living room. We're going to have a cozy evening. I have some more emails I want to do, but I want to set the vibe for the cozy evening. I'm going to pull out a new candle. I think I'm going to do... I have another candle from the one hotel yay it's this um, like if you've ever been to any of the one hotels it just smells so good it's kind of like a it's called santal typically but it's like a sandalwood vetiver just really amazing smell so i've been waiting to burn this and it's very relaxing too it's just in a nice i got it at the hotel um i'm sure you can order online too Vibes are curating. <laughs> Gotta unpack my bag from the gym. Um, one thing I just did starting today, and I think I'm definitely gonna do more. This is for if you um, like plan to shower at the gym or like do a steam room sauna, that kind of vibe. I brought this like from base. It came in one of my suitcases when I brought it. It's like for dirty clothes. I just put my dirty gym clothes in here so that it doesn't like, I don't know, it kind of like skews me out that it's like touching all of my other stuff. Especially if it's like super sweaty. So I'm just going to start bringing this when I go work out. If I'm changing there. Because then it stays in there. Um, but yeah. Hunger is kicking in. And I'm just trying so hard not to snack. Because I want to eat my Thai food. 
but you know, like when Uber Eats tells you, you know, estimated arrival 940, but latest arrival is 1020 is what it's telling me, and I'm like, oof. That is a big difference, and you always just hope that it's on the earlier side. Um, but anyways, I'm going to pass the time by. Um, I'm not going to like fully do my hair right now, because I'm not doing anything crazy tomorrow, but I'm just spraying some heat protectant in it right now. I'm just going to brush my Dyson Airwrap through my hair so it's not as frizzy. And uh, I can't believe how late it is. I fully thought it was just... So much earlier. Alright, I kind of just... My hair looks so... My hair just looks way better when I really try and do it or if I go to the dry bar, but I just kind of ran through with the Dyson Air Wrap so it's less frizzy. I'm literally not even doing anything like that I need to be photographed or like presentable for tomorrow, so that's a good thing. Um... That feels good. My food's almost here and I'm really excited. I'm literally just trying to like do things while I wait for food because I'm so hungry. I mean, you know, like after you work out, you're so hungry. I'm going to do my little evening email sesh over here tonight. A lot of times I like have shit. Oh my God, my food's here. Thank you. We're gonna change things up a bit here. I was about to start working. Um, whenever I'm eating something really good, I'm like, ooh, I need to watch something. Oh gosh, I can smell it. it. Smells so good. We got the rice. And then I just got like garlic, chicken, and vegetables. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I probably should get a plate and make it, but look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, oh my god, it smells so good. I'm watching Nashville right now. That was like such a good meal. Maybe it was meant to be because this was just so good and I'd still be cooking right now and it's 10 o'clock, so. I'm happy, self-care. <laughs> Do you ever just have a day and you're like, self-care, self-care, woo, self-care. Just to justify it, because that's definitely what I'm doing right now, but it's fine. <laughs> I've been sitting here icing my knee because ever since I've done more walking and such, like literally since the weather's gotten warmer, not just the treadmill walking I've been doing, my left knee's been just giving me some trouble. And I do remember when I was younger and I did flag football and hip hop and stuff, I did have like left knee problems sometimes. And then I remember I went to a foot doctor and it had to do with the arches in my feet. So I got orthotics, like foot inserts, but then like I stopped wearing them. But I think it helped to keep, I don't know, I think that's what's happening, which is a bummer because I've been really enjoying my walking. So I was talking to my dad and I'm, I just ordered on Amazon a knee brace that you can wear, like a flexible one that you wear when you're like walking, running, exercising to kind of just help keep everything in place. So I'm hoping that'll help. I literally, does this not remind you guys of like getting, you know, injured in dodgeball and PE in like middle school and someone running to go get you ice because that's the energy that this is giving right now I literally don't know the last time I've just like put ice on my knee like this or anything on my body you know when I was younger it was like everything just go get ice go get ice <laughs> that's what I feel like right now but I'm vibing I just FaceTime with Delaney too and now I'm gonna resume though watching Nashville I'm really enjoying my evening okay I've got my robe on it started to get chilly in my apartment it's 11 30 we need to go to bed and I'm going to do a morning workout tomorrow, so I want to make sure I sleep. I'm going to take one of these Highline Wellness um, melatonin and CBD gummies. Um, I don't take these every night, but whenever I'm on my computer late at night, which I kind of just was when I was watching TV, I get wound up and it's harder to fall asleep. I'm just going to nip that in the bud. I'm going to take one of these. Got birth control as well. It's the sugar pill, though. So, I'm just going to throw it away. I could take it. I just always, like, pop it and toss it. I don't know. Those CBD gummies are honestly so tasty. <laughs> going to make a little hot tea to wind down for the evening as well. I'm going to do one of these chamomile and lavender 
from uh, Traditional Medicinals. Do, uh, we'll do my classic teacup. This is from Anthropology. My grandma got it for me a while ago. Living alone is truly such a weird thing, especially in the evening when it's like time to go to bed. But like when I had a roommate in college, you know, one of us would say, oh, I'm heading to bed. And then you'll be like, oh, I should probably just go to bed too. Whereas when you live alone, it's just no one, like mom or dad's not telling you, oh, you gotta go to bed. Or you're not with a roommate who's reminding you like, oh, it's midnight. I didn't even realize, you know, you just kind of <laughs> get carried away. It's fun though. It's nice because I enjoy these years and I'm very thankful to live alone because I know there's going to be one day, God willing, where I'm in a house full of kids and my husband and you're on a lot more people's schedules than your own. So I definitely try to soak it all up while I'm 24 living alone in New York City. It's pretty cool. Tea time. Cheers. So if I lay in bed and read, I fall asleep pretty fast and I want to read a little bit more and I'm a little bit more awake so I'm actually gonna read a little bit on my couch since I have my hot tea as well and I, I don't want to get in bed until my, my teeth are brushed and everything otherwise if I fall asleep without my teeth brushed my dentist won't be happy with me so I love having my light changing light or color changing light bulb in my living room it's such a vibe in the evening i keep saying evening instead of night i i don't know why <laughs> this is the book i'm still getting through i'm getting closer to being done it's just because i only read a few pages every night it takes a while but it's an advanced copy of ellen hildebrand's new book that's coming out this summer the five star weekend it is lovely it's just really good vibes and i'm enjoying it so i'm gonna read a little bit now one of those things where I was reading and I like my head bobbed so I guess I was I've literally read like 10 pages <laughs> that's more than two pages if I were in bed do you ever just try to keep the tiredness though when you're going from your couch to your bed because that's me right now ah! like I just I want to stay really relaxed and tired but sometimes brushing my teeth will wake me up. These are just the dramatic little things that go through my head when I'm going to bed at night. Did I show you guys these? My dad literally made them for me, the little curtain pullbacks, because the ones I got from Amazon broke in just like a few days because they're really poor quality, honestly. But these, my dad literally ordered the beads and strung all together and sent them to me. He's so nice. And they look so good. <sighs> These are my blackout curtains. Got my red lights on to continue the relaxation. I'm gonna brush my teeth and head to bed. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this self-care evening with me. Hopefully it inspired you. And I'll see you guys next on Wednesday for another video.